Since I was a little girl, I have loved books and writing. Some of my favorite authors of various genres have been a huge inspiration for me since I was young. If I had to choose one genre above all that I absolutely loved, it would be fantasy. Why, you might ask? Since I was a little girl, I have always seen my life as a fantasy book, with me being a character in the story. As I grew older and wiser, I started to realize that my intuition about my life as a fantasy and that feeling I always had about it was beginning to mirror my adult life. Therefore, this validated my intuitive thoughts and feelings to be true. I knew I was in this world, but not of this world. However, I couldn't figure out why I had always felt that way up to now. I had gone to bed one night only to wake up and find myself in a world I did not recognize. Upon awakening that very day, it felt like my life had changed again overnight. Because of this experience, I was allowed the time of stillness by being pushed to slow down to reflect on my life like a movie reel. This was an act of God, or some would say the universe. This movie reel played from my current age of 55 years young and rewound backward to a time when I was young. Then, immediately following that, it was as if the reel was moving quickly through every age in life experience that I had lived almost as if it was providing me clues to my current situation in order for me to find my own answers. I realized that to truly write my life story, I would have to begin with my birth, though that story would be fascinating for many individuals listening and reading. I will have to reserve that part of my story for another time. Instead, I have decided to start here at the end and work my way back. That is because I live in the present moment while creating my future through reflection on my past. As a writer, I created my own story genre called spoken storytelling. It is my unique approach to everything I write. Those who know me well will tell you that I rarely follow any rules of the norm in life especially when it comes to my writing. Well, that is within reason, of course. You most definitely will learn this about me throughout the series. You might already be thinking, well, what does spoken storytelling in your writing have anything to do with your YouTube show series? Well, it has everything to do with it because my past life events and experiences play an integral role in what is happening in my current life experience at this given moment. That means it is my life story. If you are finding this confusing, here, let me explain. A man and a woman were brought together for what they thought would be a co-creative spiritual teaching journey of esoteric knowledge through their individual vocations. Little did they know that God and the universe had another plan for them. Here's the fun part of my explaining of this, as if it were a fantasy story. Imagine this man and woman as a prince and princess living in the same world, but from different realms within that world. The prince did not have an easy life whatsoever. In fact, his life was very traumatic to the point where most humans could not imagine enduring such pain and suffering. However, as he moved through his journey of healing, he became stronger and full of armor. Some might say he stepped into his role as a future king. He was a spiritual warrior through his healed soul of light. He gained altruistic love, empathy, and compassion for others. This altruism was his energy force which allowed him to approach life in a way 
that most humans don't live. As he continued to move through his life experience, he gained an unbelievable amount of deep ancient knowledge and wisdom, as well as experience. The princess, on the other hand, was trapped inside her own castle. Yes, she was within the same world of the prince, but was living within her own realm. She was also a beautiful soul filled with love, empathy, and compassion. However, her life experience took her on a different path. She was locked away behind closed doors in a large, beautiful room with no light. That is because her soul light was dim. This room was her safe place. As she hid herself and remained locked away, she was able to hide her pain and suffering from the world and others. When she was let out of the room, she was able to move through the day and carry on through life by pretending. This was her fairy tale. She would put a smile on her face despite what was happening behind closed doors and navigate through life by masking the pain. Many thought she was strong, beautiful, and powerful. Her vibrant smile was her disguise to hide the vulnerability of her scarred heart exposed from her broken armor. The prince, after getting to know the princess over time, fell in love with her and did not see her as broken. He saw through her pain, her faults, and her mistakes. The prince was the only one who can see her true soul light. He tried to save her many times, but the princess tried to warn him over and over that she cannot be saved. She had a deep void within her as she had lost her heart to the underworld. But this did not stop him. He would try over and over again to break the doors down and yank her out of that room. Yet, he would not succeed. Then one day, he was left with no choice. He had to dig deep within himself, unlocking his soul stone which provided him with a wealth of knowledge and wisdom for the princess's guidance. He put on his light warrior armor and transformed into a human spirit guide. This was not to punish her, but rather to give her the tools to save herself and step into her role of becoming the queen. So, the Motherella and Walker story begins with a prince and princess moving together side by side as they both embody themselves as a king and queen of their life's domain. They were moved like chess pieces on a chessboard, only to find themselves aboard an invisible spiritual ship. They were placed together to set sail in uncharted waters with the hopes of finding the lodestone to Mother Rella's final stage of her healing. God and the universe had left them a map in the most uncommon place, deep inside their guarded hearts. This map was to help them navigate their way through the treacherous waters to win the game of life. But what came next was unforeseen. They were met with an unexpected massive storm they never thought they would encounter. This presented them with a very challenging voyage as this pathway was nowhere to be found on the map. It left them to carve out their own pathway, which has yet to ever be explored. At this point, they only knew survival mechanisms and didn't have the compass for a new course direction. This proved to be quite challenging to say the least. Since that time, they have been lost at sea, moving through each day with inquiry and discovery. Some would say this is science, but they call it energy. There are many facets of a human's life experience and journey, just like a beautiful gem. You can say these life gems, with their crystalline energy, would lead them to uncover the mother load of gems, the lodestone for life. That lodestone was what held the frequency and vibration of all five elements of life's abundance, inner peace, love, joy, vitality, 
and wealth. As the gems were slowly collected through their journey, they realized that a treasure box of knowledge and wisdom was beginning to take shape and form. Just when they thought they had all they needed and that they had found the mother load of answers and truth, another storm hit them strongly. All was lost. They were left to depend on each other for their survival. This is where their newest story begins, one of moving through the pain, challenges, struggles, and suffering, co-creating side by side one another. Walker is leading by example, while Motherella is following the guidance. She is doing all it takes to finally clear and heal her traumatized past, a past that has plagued her body and siphoned the vitality of her soul. She has been energetically enslaved for so long, which has barred her from living an authentic life. Self-healing is her only choice to clear and release her from this energetic enslavement. She must free herself of the death grip of her imprisoned mind. Once freed, she would then be able to heal her body and soul once and for all. This is Motherella's story of escaping the cult of medicine, get healed with me, with Walker, the spirit king, right by her side.